Hey, what is up, everyone? Happy Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Four trades today in the live stream. Um, started off with a couple volume runners, a real nice one in MU, plus 594. And then small winner in Disney. We had some funky stuff going on with the Jolts report that came out. Um, tried some mighty 90s, got pretty much a scratch and goog, and just uh, I bailed on a, on Meta. And uh, ended up being a losing trade. So um, the market got really strong, and then it got really weak. So it's just one of those days where, you, uh, when a when a report comes out, and then the markets kind of can swing either way. So let's show MU first. So this bar was bigger than the previous one, so it pulled back right by this pivot right here, and I got long. And so you can see, I just ended up getting out of half, and then I just uh, I did. I did 20 contracts because I got filled at a buck 14, so a little over 2,100 dollars of buying power is about my about my in my medium range, and so uh, you know I got out of 10, and then I just got out of two, got out of two, got out of two, got out of two, and then got out of my final two right up here at the top. So I didn't I didn't had set through any of this pullback, and you can kind of see what happened here. Like look at Netflix, this so so this is the first bar here, which is usually the biggest, so. This is when the report came out, and so, um, and then things started to really get weak after that. You can kind of see that. So I, I, I got out, I scaled out of my last two right up there, which was perfect. So plus 594. Um, Disney had this big volume bar again. This was, this was when things uh, started really spiking, and you know I don't really like I would, I would never play a, a situation like Netflix where this bar is just so much bigger than the first. That usually doesn't mean continuation higher. Uh, so I did jump in Disney though, cause it wasn't, you know, as big as Netflix was, but, um, and it pulled back to here and I got in and then I got out of half and then it started to come down. And when I saw this bar coming down, I'm like, okay, it's not good. I got out. Of the, I just closed it out. So that's how it was a small winner. Goog mighty 90. Okay. So it was a mighty 90. Let's see. Right here, and then it pushed down, and um, I got in right there, and then it came down to this pivot, and I added to it, and then it popped back up, and I was able, like right here, I was able to get out of half, and then um, things started getting weak again, and so I just bailed on it right here. It looks like if I would have continued to hold for two bars, green bars, I probably would have been more of a winning trade, but it was only you know, pretty much a scratch trade. Uh, and then Meta, also good looking Mighty 90 right here. And so I ended up getting in right there. And then it pushed down and I added to it at yesterday's low. And then when it popped up, gave me two green bars, I got out right there. So that's why it was a minus, minus 190. So it looks like things are starting to really flush now too. I was talking in the live stream. This Microsoft looked like a good downside continuation runner. Um, but I just played it safe, but it looks like uh, it would have been good to get in some, here's another potentially good downside continuation runner, pop up, roll over, pop up, roll over. So, but anyway, I'll take it. Consider it's a little wild action going on right now, plus 524 and I'll be back Friday. So we'll see you then. Peace. Peace.